it's getting close to the last days of the Jack in the Box review saga. Andrew Pinion coming in very, very, very articulate and very inducive. But I must eat. Are you guys ready? There was a boy with a great opinion. Andrew Pinion is ready. A little more clearly in this one, you see these. Uh, hard shell taco you see the slice of american cheese the lettuce the meat substitute and they have a little taco sauce there so there you have it um first little fact about it they've sold these tacos actually since the 50s when jack in the box started and though they're known as a you know a burger chain obviously a mega burger chain that's publicly traded and franchised around half the country, they actually sell more tacos than they do burgers. A lot of nostalgia around this taco. It's a guilty pleasure. Basically vegetarian. I didn't say it was vegan. It's not an authentic taco. It's not a traditional authentic taco. It's not a great taco in that sense but it's a guilty pleasure. So they also have some extra taco sauce I'm in there. Taco sauce here, it's sprinkled in here. So, you know, if you have a slice of American cheese in it, it's not gonna be an authentic, a great taco. It's a great Jack in the Box taco, which has become its own thing. Nostalgia, you know. These are great for what they are, look at them. You know, you, you know if you want really to move the tacos, you're not going to Jack in the Box. But these are a fun, guilty pleasure. Get two for like two bucks. I mean, you go through drive through late at night, you have a friend that's slightly intoxicated. You know, you can't go wrong with a couple bucks on these. Some people have extreme opinions on them. Either they love these or they hate them. There's very little middle ground. I understand both positions. I respect both positions. Like I said, you want an actual... Mexican food, an authentic taco, that, that's not it. I would say, you know, they're the one place I was putting on burgers and tacos in San Diego. It's, there's something about it. It's its own animal. It's the Jack of the Box taco is its own animal. For that, for the nostalgia, for the guilty pleasure of it, I'm gonna give it four to four stars. Four to four stars as a Jack in the Box guilty pleasure taco, not as an authentic, uh, you know, Mexican taco. Bacon and cheese potato wedges. The bacon and cheese potato wedges. Usually you see a little more bacon. There's some right there. The presentation isn't the best this time. But, uh, I gotta say, for me, but I, to me, Jack in the Box, or as it's known uh, in many circles, is Jack in the Crack. To me, I like it probably the best for its sides. Share with a group of friends. These, this, I don't know how you'd share it, especially in the COVID time with all the cheese, but cheese and bacon bits it's yummy it's there's no other way to put it is it healthy no i'm not saying it's healthy it's the kind of thing you'd enjoy but not want to see be seen order you know what i mean droopy cheese with bacon and fried potatoes i mean what's not to love these are good these are little side pieces let me tell you yeah. Mm -hmm. I give those a three and a half and a four star. It's just too much goo and too much pleasure to, to rate it lower. I'm Jack in the Box Gate again. Jack in the Box Egg Rolls. I used to work at a work somewhere in San Pedro in the city of LA. Right next to it was a Jack in the Box. And at the time, I hated Jack in the Box. But. I was hungry and there was nothing to eat around, so the, the place that I could, uh, my, uh, a compromise, eat their egg rolls, that's what I would, and, uh, again, like I would say with the tacos, certainly would not, I'm sure, you know, I'm not going to say these are authentic, high quality egg rolls, 
but for greasy egg rolls at a major burger chain, uh, they're a guilty pleasure. Give them a sweet and sour sauce. Some diced pork and carrots and celery. It's really greasy and yummy. Things are best out. I really think their side, their uh, snacks or whatever you want to call them, their side pieces are the best food there. Fried snack with pork and celery and the crunch of the roll. And uh, I think after this, two, maybe three, but I'm leaning towards two more Jack of the March reviews, so I'm done. Go through the menus. I will admit, I do a lot of editing in my videos because for good reason, it's disgusting to see food in people's mouths. But sometimes I've gorged myself on these uh, food reviews to the point where I don't realize till the editing process that you can see a whole meal in my mouth. So, so I edit it where there's a lot of bites. Uh, I'm trying to spare people from seeing that. It's a tough one. It's certainly just as good a quality as the tacos, but the tacos, I think it's just the, they've been around so long, the nostalgia of them, the two for two bucks, the price point of it. These are the fried jalapenos. These are maybe my favorite side out of there. With this like cheese and a jalapeno, piece of jalapeno. There's a piece of jalapeno and some like cheese sauce with like this cr this uh, crusted outside. The the it's crusted outside. Um, hey, roll side. So this is my favorite. Line. That's with the cheese itself. So more one of their more expensive items, but it's a delicious treat. And then when you dip it in the ranch or operational flavors, the Burger King did a version of this and even Carl's Jr. and they're not as they're not not very good. Couldn't eat these things regularly, it's too greasy. I'd feel like a dumpster, but every great once in a while. More like in a setting with a few people. A group of these things and some egg rolls, it's fun. <laughs> Do the tiny tacos. As you can see, nice little side. Mm -hmm. Tacos often come with a dip, you can dip it in there. These are fun. I like things where I eat and I feel like a giant eating them. As a littler fella, I, I like to pretend to be a giant eating trees when I eat broccoli. And I think mini tacos brings that kind of fun. You know, you feel like a giant eating a hundred tacos, you know. Crunchy. Not the cheese and lettuce, but they have that taco flavor and the meat tips too. Overall, this is, I think, Jack in the Box's uh, home run uh, range. This is where they deliver. And so, coming up with their best stuff towards the end, I gotta say, I give the, again, the Jack in the Box tacos four to four stars for its nostalgia, for its guilty pleasure, for its cheapness, its price point. I'm not giving it four or four stars as an authentic taco. I'm not giving it four or four stars as a great taco. Even for the four stars as a jack in the box taco. It's its own animal, its own creature. The, potato, the cheese and bacon potato wedges, three and a half out of four stars. That's a guilty pleasure. I give the egg rolls four to four stars as a guilty pleasure side piece of jack in the box. I give uh, the, the fried jalapenos four to four stars and these uh, mini tacos three and a half to four stars. So the side pieces really came through here.